to create a loader that would allow a person sitting in a wheelchair to lift the canoe with ease. And although not all the devices worked, they were all unique in their own way. It was our idea to come up with a garage door track and use some other modular components. Hopefully that uh, it would be easier for someone else to build themselves. He said go. <laughs> Rules in the competition, including a height limit. The students were only allowed to lift their arms so high as if they were actually in a wheelchair while constructing the loading device. That's pretty cool. It is cool. And it shows you that there are some really smart people out there. Oh, yeah. And it's cool to see kids actually being able to do things that can really help people in exactly. the real world. Exactly. A little more As opposed to a machine that will pick up an egg. There you go. <laughs> and then, Let's have a countdown. We'll start at five. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> Hey, what team is this? What's that chart? Come on, move that winch, Scott. Need more slack. <laughs> Only two teams are left. Red team and blue team. Who will finish last? No coaching from the and if your hands go above this point, you'll lose another two points every time they go above. So if you keep your hand up, I suppose that's one time. Good thing I'm short, huh? <laughs> yeah, right. You don't want to me in first place. Right. right. You can go as high as up to here. Oh, okay. Oh, is that right? As Stand away from this rope. You go, girl. I mean, guy. Corey <laughs> <laughs> oh, always does that. Foreseeable to Michael Jensen, all that, you know. Be realistic now. This is a person in a wheelchair doing this. Don't forget the strap on the back. Yeah, baby, that's right. For uh, red, mm -hmm. right now you're in first. Yeah. No penalty deductions, right? Yeah. You've got one here Any too with this with this handle turning the top and out on the left hand side. Did you get that? Anybody gets a hand in the way. One minute, Adam. <laughs> All right, Adam. <laughs> oh, that hand's getting a little high. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Whoa. 
Hey, when's the lift up? Done? What's the time? Four and a half. Four and a half minutes? All right. Judges. <laughs> This is obviously blue team here. Good lord. Yeah, I can go four six. <laughs> Hugging the canoe. Done. Time? Nine. Time? You know, what's accelerate? Than... <laughs> we shouldn't do more than Summer 10 miles. We're not supposed to do 10 more than 10 miles an hour. Okay. So okay. Be 10 miles an hour when you get there. Like be the 10 MPA. Cross side of the first cone. In and out through them. When you get to the last cone, come back across, and there's two pieces of two before. Come back across right along the, outside, the inside edge of those. And break just a hair away from the judges, I think. Oh yeah, from the speed bumps. That's right. Two by fours actually, but <laughs> way to go, Scott. How was that? Oh, looked pretty good. Due to parking lot regulations, we cannot exceed ten miles per hour. Unfortunately, this goes against our plans of going blue team. All right, yeah. See the roar of that engine. Gold team. Matt Corbett, the driver. Oh, yeah. Um, I think yeah, silver team, driven by Nick Neymar. Break. Uh, uh, a plumb bob underneath the center of the canoe, eh? Yeah, yeah, right. Just put on that one corner and I'll hold it down. I think the rest of it. Cut off. Alright. Do it again? Yeah. Do it again. No more good. What was that, 100 pounds? 85. 85, alright. Couldn't see it. <laughs> That's not... The high and low score is almost bad. The team gets first place. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>